Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. This video is a brief overview as to why workspaces are the optimal place for you to store most of your Smartsheet documents and assets. As particularly, again, is this is a collaboration piece of software and undoubtedly you'll be sharing a lot of these with other people. So let's have a look. So the first thing to show you is Sheets and Workspaces and what is the difference. So Sheets is if I'm going to go and create an individual item, I'm going to create an asset and if I create it, I can save it. I can choose where I'm going to save it. So if I just go to create a grid, for example, and I'm going to go to call this demo and I press OK, it's created it in the location that I've got it in here. So it's now in demo um, in, in this overall sheets place. Now with a sheet, what it means is it's only shared to me and I've got access to it. If I want to share it with someone else, I can share this individual item with other people just by clicking the sharing button here. The piece is that if I share this sheet, and I'm just going to share it as, a, as an example now, with I'm going to share it with Alejandra Rojas, and I'm going to turn off the notification, but I'm going to share the sheet with her, and it's called Demo. And if I just go into her profile now, let's see what has happened. So as you can see, Demo has just been added one minute ago to her profile. So in this case, this is in her sheets. Fine, you think, on that side. But what's going to happen is over time, she's going to get a lot of items in here and literally every single item that comes along will be go into her sheets on that side, which can make it really difficult. And so what she'll probably most likely do is she'll go, right, I'm going to create a folder here. I'm going to go to, you know, call this items from Rich, for example. And then she can start creating a bit and going, my goodness, he sent me this and he sent me this and he sent me this. And she's going to move it into that folder there. And you're creating more work for people um, is, the, is the bottom line on that side. So, and we want to be operating more efficiently. So if we come back to this sheet here, it's currently in that demo space. So I'm just going to come out of it for a moment. So sheets, they're individual items. And if you share it, it will go as an individual item to someone else's sheets space. A workspace, the way I often describe it to people, is it's like a shared drive view on that bit or a SharePoint site. And so a workspace, as you can see by the two head icons, indicates that it's a shared space. And so with a workspace, typically what you do is you then share it with a series of people. So if I just go to, for example, this workspace here of, I'm going to go to template set. And in here, I've got a whole series of folders, which are the template sets from the solution center. And on this bit, I can actually share it with a whole pile of people. So every item in here is shared directly with people. So let's just go back to Alejandra's view for a moment. She is part of the productive team and you can see the template set is there. So all those items are there. They're structured accordingly and it makes it really easy to be managed in a simple way in her site, in, in her view of things. And there's no additional work for her to do on that bit. Now, in the same, by the same token, What's great with having things in workspaces also is it means you can stop the sharing very easily as well for all items in that space. So if, for example, I wanted to take away access to Alejandra from, um, from this piece, so in a workspace, I'm just going to take away access to the productive group and I'm going to close it. And if I now go back in and I'm going to refresh Alejandra's space, you're going to see she doesn't have access to this workspace. So that's been taken away. If I just go back in and refresh, and you can see that series is there. So the power of workspaces means you can share things and share a lot of items quickly and unshare them if you need to in the same space. So let's dive down a bit more. And in this case, I have created a project and it's called Project Bubbaloo. If now I want to share this project with team members, if I want to share the, let's just say, well, all of it, Actually, I've got to share each item one by one with, let's just say, Alejandra, for example. So I'm going to go in and go into that one and I'm going to share each item and I'm going to say, Alejandra, you've got access to that one. I'm going to not turn off the notification. So I've shared that with her and I'm going to go back out and I've got to say, right, I'm going to share the time plan now with her. And I'm going to share and I'm going to add Alejandra. Um, I've come onto groups in a separate video, um, but for now, I'm just focusing on the workspace and versus the sheets. So I've shared that item and let me just go back in and, you know, let's just go back down to the raid log and I share that one as well. You can see this is getting quite time consuming, um, laboring the point here, 
because it is time consuming. Right, so what does this, what's happened in Alejandra's space here? So if I now refresh, and we look, there's nothing that happened in her workspaces, but if I open up her sheets, she's got in the sheets, all these items which we've just come across. So five minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, these items, they're last updated, but you can see they've all come in. Now, luckily the naming kind of has got them grouped together. But if I called them something else, they will be jumping around in terms of um, that piece. So again, if I just come back to here for a moment and I tend to try to, um, don't save, I tend to try and give, but let's just, so I'm gonna to go to Pro Bubaloo Project Learnings, which doesn't have a, um, have something on there and what I'm just going to do is I'm going to share that one as well with Alejandra just to give you a sense so share turn off share okay let's just go back into her space here so one two three bubble all group together but project learnings is now down here so you can imagine this gets really cluttered and just go oh my goodness right I've got to move things around so why workspace well instead what she can do or rather what the project owner could do instead in this case is if I just go back into here, is rather than Bubbleu being in here, we can actually go and create a workspace. So if I go into my workspaces here, and I'm just going to um, go into this view here, um, just go back up to Sheets, and I am just going to create a new workspace, and I'm going to call this Bubbleu Two. Um, on that side. So new workspace has been created um, on that bit and what I can do now is I can take Bubbleu to so one in terms of the workspaces um, I'm now going to drag it down and drop it into Bubbleu. So let's just find Bubbleu 2. So Bubbleu 2 goes into there, it's not currently shared. First thing it says is workspace members will be shared to the items. Do you wish to continue? Absolutely, because that's the purpose why we're doing it there. So now Bubbleu 2 is there it's not shared with anyone currently, but now I can quickly share that with others. So let me just add in Alejandra on that basis. And she's now going to go in. I'm going to choose what settings I want her to have. So she's going to be an editor on that bit. I'm going to turn off the notification in this case, and I'm going to share the workspace. Now, from an effectiveness perspective, let's go back to Alejandra's space and just refresh. And what it means now is all those items which were scattered around in her sheets are gone. Where are they gone? They've gone into the workspace and they're neatly ordered as they should be in this way here. So that's how it becomes really effective on this case. And again, it just means it's really easy for us to, if we wanted to, take away access to Bubbleu, then add a keystroke or two, then the access could be removed straight away. This way then you can keep on in top of all the workspaces. And again, you might have seen the way I'm trying to do this here is I put coding and numbers, etc. So we all have our separate ways of having naming conventions, etc., on how things move in terms of the um, the naming on all that bit. So hopefully that is useful for you in terms of seeing some ways of using the benefits rather of workspaces over sheets. So again, and this is useful for people, particularly when you're just getting started in Smartsheet. So thanks for watching. I hope that's been useful and more other tips to follow. Bye for now.